Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode five, five, four, 14 of Lockdown Theater Entertainment for the Homebound. Do you know why I'm in such a good mood right now? I'll tell you, because I just watched Kate and Leopold, which is one of my favorites. I just adore this movie. It is so sweet and it's, it's, it's so romantic. It just puts a big old smile on my face and you tear up a little bit at the end. It's so, it's so sweet. So Kate and Leopold is from 2001 and was directed by James Mangold, who um, had done Copland and Girl Interrupted, uh, and then did Kate Leopold, and then he went on to do uh, Walk the Line, um, 310 to Yuma, um, and then he did uh, uh, The Wolverine, which starred Hugh Jackman, like Kate and Leopold, um, and he most recently did Ford versus Ferrari. So in his um, body of work, it's very sort of, um, very kind of masculine um, movies, uh, more actiony, more gritty, um, and you know, surprisingly, he just does a beautiful job with Kate and Leopold. I mean, it's one of those movies where everything is bathed in that soft yellowish glow that just makes it everything feel warmer and more cozy, and um, and, and 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 he just does a, a gorgeous job with this movie. I wish. You know, I wish he would do another rom uh, romance. Um, and that's the other thing, you know. It's not... You might be fooled into thinking it's a romantic comedy for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, I think... I can't remember exactly what the marketing was like, but, um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm looking at the cover. Um, you know, one of the quotes here is, seriously romantic and darn funny. So... I, I, I feel like it was marketed as a romantic comedy. And plus the fact the presence of Meg Ryan, who of course is America's, you know, at this point was, you know, America's sweetheart for a string of romantic comedies. Um, but what I love about this movie is that it's, yes, there are some funny parts and, but it's more of a full bodied romance. I mean, it's just, a, it's just oozing with romance, this movie. I mean, from the, um, the 19th century, um, you know, pr production design and, and parts of the movie and, uh, you know, kind of the romanticized New York City. It's, um, it's, it's, it's more of, it's, it's a romance in the old fashioned sense and not so much a romantic comedy where, um, you know, it's about, uh, you know, where, where characters kind of, um, you know, miss each other and the whole thing. It's, it's, it doesn't have, let me put it this way. It's a romance first, and then there's funny elements in it. Whereas a romantic comedy, I think, really tries to blend both of the genres uh, equally. And I don't have many romances or romantic comedies in my collection up here. I have, um, you know, Pretty Woman. I have The Notebook, which I never saw, and I think an ex just left me that movie, and I never gave it back, and I never watched it, but I have a feeling I would like it. Um, I have a feeling I would cry. Uh, you know, I got Head Over Heels, which is stupid, but that's just a guilty pleasure of mine. And then I got, you know, Moulin Rouge, but that's more of a, a, a musical, I think, first, and then a romance. So, um, so... so Kate and Leopold, of course, uh, stars Meg Ryan and Hugh Jackman, and uh, Hugh Jackman plays a duke from the uh, 19th century, and he, uh, through some contrivance of time portal, time machine stuff, which you really can't think much about, he ends up in the present day and falls in love with Meg Ryan, and, you know, it's all about... It, it's all about how love spans time and love is love is infinite and timeless and just you know spans the ether and it's really just a kind of a lovely message about just love is everywhere love always has been everywhere love can cross back and forth between times time periods uh decades centuries and it's really um love is love is love is love is love and it's that's part of why the movie is just so romantic. It just oozes with that with that L word. Um, and the other thing I really kind of love about this movie is with a lot of romantic comedies, um, 
you know, you'll start watching them and then you'll, you'll, once the, once the, 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 the plot mechanics are set in motion, you start to roll your eyes and be like, oh God, oh God. And it's so, you know, it gets very contrived. The thing about Kate and Leopold is it's contrived from the outset. I mean, it's about a, it's about a guy who, from the past, who ends up in, you know, present day New York City. And so it's, the contrivance is set up immediately. So you immediately either buy it or you don't. And believe me, it's so much more enjoyable if you do. If you just buy it, it, it like I'm talking about before the credits are even over, the contrivance is set and the and the, the plot is set in motion. Um, so it, it, there's, there's no worrying about, there's no rolling your eyes like, oh God, that would never happen. That would never happen. Because you know none of this would ever happen. Because you're told that from the very, very beginning. I mean, the, the entire plot hinges on something and they, you know, um, um, uh, tangibly un, un, believable. So, uh, you know, so the, the, um, like I said, so the contrivance is set up from the outset. So there's nowhere to go, but just pure enjoyment and Hugh Jackman. You know, listen, I've never been the biggest Hugh Jackman fan. I'm still not, but this part suits him. Number one, because he's, he's so charming and, debonair and um you know he's she's in, in his boyish looks suit him um in this movie especially you know when there's where come the 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 scenes that you would expect where he's you know kind of um getting used to modern conveniences like toilets and electricity and his just you know sense of wonder when his mouth just is like how does this work? What? What is it? You know, it's it's all very cute and very charming, and uh, and and he's great in the role. And Meg Ryan is her is her lovely self, and she's great in this too. Um, it's a good cast. There's also uh, Breck and Meyer, who yeah, can get it a little annoying at times, but you know he's very very charming when he wants to be. And Natasha Leone and Bradley Whitford, um, uh, and I saw that Viola Davis has a, a quick scene in an, in an early role of hers here. So. So yeah, so that's really all I want to talk about with Kate and Leopold. I say, see it, it's PG-13, PG-13. There's nothing offensive in it. It's just a beautiful, sweet romance that will make you all warm and fuzzy and just want to give yourself or your significant other a great big hug. So that's all for uh, this episode of Lockdown Theater. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but we'll see. And until next time, be good to each other and be safe.